Welcome back, beautiful beings. It's Denise. Today, I have treat bags. You get eight pieces from Dollar Tree. Okay. I'm going to show you without the glare from the light. <laughs> and I think they're really cute treat bags. And we're going to make pockets, tucks, and belly bands with them. Okay. And you can get two out of one bag. I'm multi-producing. Okay. I'm making a whole bunch for my grandkids. So let's get started. We'll open our bag. And we're gonna cut alongside this. And I'm gonna make sure I go against this. Because we're gonna wrap it around some cardboard. And we're gonna use this for a belly bag. And for tucks, okay, the side of it. So hollow it up. On this side, we have room to wrap this around because we're just going to wrap like this much from the house to there around. So I'm not too worried about that. You can cut in on this side, on the side of the bag, cut it up with that part because this won't show because we're going to wrap it around and then cut this up. Okay. And then we'll use this for the belly band and the tucks. And we're gonna go across the bottom. Like this. And the other bottom, crossed. And then we're gonna go across to there. And that's completely off. You can keep this if you want. I'm not, I'm just throwing it away. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Here's the bend. So we're going on this side, the right side of the bend. All the way up. And then our last part is here, and we're inside the bend again, and we're cutting along the side of this. I thought the side of the bag would make cute belly bands for tucks. Okay, so we can use these later. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we have cardboard. We have two, so you can make two at a time. Okay. I'm making 12 for my grandkids. <laughs> okay. All this is, these are from my cheese it box that I save. Okay. And here's a piece of cardboard that I already curved, but this is the reason. All you do is take, once you get this cut, cut, just take your cardboard and lay it on, on the picture, okay? And then measure your cardboard that way, okay? Probably be easier for you to do it this way and fill your cardboard and then cut it. But I do have measurements for those that like measurements. This is eight inches long and it's three inches and 78. Okay, three inches and seven at seven eighths. Okay, wide. Okay, just so it fits on your picture, it's all good. Okay, and I'll show you why. We're gonna take this. Okay, I already did this one. I'll show you this, and I'm only measuring from the bottom of the house. Okay, so you'll be putting that here on the back, and you'll you can see through it if you hold it up to the light. And then you're just going to tuck that down like that. Okay, so you have the bottom of the house. And then these are going to be wrapped around like this on each side. Some sides you'll have more than others. So it's going to be like that. Okay. But up here, I wanted this to be curved. Sorry, something just fell. <laughs> but up here, I wanted this to be curved like the moon, okay? And I wanted to capture the first little stars. I don't really care about the big ones, but this is gonna be wrapped around like this, okay? And this is gonna be wrapped around here. It's gonna look like that. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I'm putting it upside down so I can see. I just have a lid, okay? That's all I have. 
And all I did is I put it almost to the edge, but not quite so I could fit the pencil in there. And then I took the pencil and went like that. Okay, that's all I did. And then I'm gonna take the scissors and cut right along that half circle. I think these are gonna make cute pockets for my grandkids. And you can put them in a pocket file, make a pocket file with them, that's what I'm doing. Or you can just buy them a notebook and glue it in a notebook. Okay? Right on the inside of the cover, and they'll have a little Halloween tuck. Or you can do it in the back of the notebook or the front or the back or the inside back okay now we're going to take this move this out of the way we're going to do our first one again i'm going to line it up to the bottom of the house okay? then i'm going to see how far i can go over on this side first because this side's shorter all right because you got more room over here so i'm just going to put that over as far as i can but i want to capture that house Make sure you got your bottom lined up. It's kind of crooked. It's kind of crooked, beautiful beans. But this will help you figure out where you're going to glue it. There we got it now. We got the house. Most of it. And then you're just going to have to keep moving your cardboard over. And then this side's going to be over. Wrap it around so you know where the fold is. All the way up. And then just fold it over. That way you know whereabouts your folds are. Okay. This is kind of wonky on this side. I'm gonna fold it a little bit. Just want to make sure I don't cut the house off. If you do, it's okay if you cut it off a little bit. It takes practice, beautiful beings. Okay. And this, this folds out even more. And then we're going to do these just down here on the bottom so it's easier. Okay. Think on the way. Flip that over. I'm gonna take Maj Baj Maddie and we're gonna pull it down. And I'll do two of these. And I'll continue with the other ones because I'm making 12 off camera. Okay. Remember when you glue it down, you have time to slide it where you want it with Maj Baj, okay? not right you can position it. Mod Podge allows you to position it. Get my napkin, wipe my fingers off. Alright, I'm gonna start down here on the bottom. So we're at the bottom of that house and that's where we made our creases. I'm gonna line it up to the creases. Now I'm gonna check it. That's good. Now I'm gonna line it up over here. Make sure everything is lined up good. The only thing that's off is this side a little bit. We just want to make sure it's nice and lined up. Okay? I'm going to open those once we got it right where we want. I'm going to start doing this. And we're going to open our flaps. Just to make sure it glues down nicely. You might get a couple wrinkles. That's all right. It just adds detail. It just adds detail to your things. I'm going to keep rubbing until I know it's nice and secure. Make sure the bubbles are out. That's dry. Now we're going to flip this over and then we're going to do this again. This piece doesn't want to stay open. 
Let's start down here. Add some modge bodge. I'm just trying to put a little bit so it dries quicker. Then we're gonna flip that over. That push it down a couple times and it should start drying. And then we're gonna do the sides. If you want, if you don't like that pointed, just go like this. Okay, just so you have enough to tuck around. That way, we don't have to add paint or anything. The sides just wraps around and it looks finished. Okay, I'll put some up here. This will give the Maj Baj time to start drying, so when we wrap it, it stays down. I'm just trying to use as little bit as possible so it dries faster. There we go. Start with this side, start wrapping it around. Maybe I put too much. <laughs> Maybe I put a little bit too much. I don't think that, I was trying to flip that over. But that's just, that's all right. And then we're gonna start wrapping this. Like a circle. really easy project paper things just get your cardboard measured correctly and you're home free okay just keep wiping your hands so you don't get dry glue on your fingers and then get it on your project Put it on. I just put too much on that side, I think. Flip it over. And there you go, beautiful things. Get this point out of here. If you have any points, just tuck them back. I can see through it just by holding it here. And we're going to tuck that back like that. And the sides. Make sure you open them if there's some that aren't open. Before you tuck it. Hold that down there. I'm going to open this up. Cut that off. And I'm gonna cut that one off. Okay. Then I'm gonna turn this around so I can see. And I'm just gonna take my lid. It fits under good. And I'm just gonna draw a half circle. And we're gonna cut it out. These would make a good project for the grandkids or the kids or even you, of course. And the grandkids, if they don't want to use them as pockets, they can put a magnet on the back of them and hang them on the fridge. That'd be a fun activity for them. We already got this all going, so we're just going to add my bodge to this. This one. Make another one. 
That was probably way too much mind fudge. <laughs> I hope everyone is good and well. And have you gone Halloween shopping to decorate your house? I'm sure you have. Or for costumes and parties. Are you going to lots of parties? Halloween parties? Or are you just going trick or treating? Or you don't have no kids or grandkids and you're just gonna go to a Halloween party at work or your friends or wherever? And have fun. And you can even just make these for yourself or a friend or a niece. A nephew, whatever you want, beautiful beings. Okay, doesn't have to be for grandkids. If you have a niece that you or a nephew that's really close to you, it's be a fun way to make them a pocket. Right, I'm just gonna check the bottom before I push it down. Just pushing it down. Check the sides. I'm gonna start wrapping it just to make sure it's lined up good. Don't forget your goddaughter or godson if you have them. You can make these for them too. Alright, I'm just gonna pull down a little bit. Start pushing that one down. See. It's, I just wanted to catch those, some of those stars. It seems like it always has wrinkles right there. But it's all right. This one's not bad, but it's got wrinkles there. But again, it just adds texture and detail. I think it's fine. Okay. And then if you don't want to use Maj Baj for the edges, you can use Elena's. All you need is a little bit really loosely though because remember you want it to dry fast so just put a little bit make sure you pull that bottom up you flip it and have your napkin so it'll get dried glue on you then I'm gonna do this again just around the top make sure you leave enough room again to wrap it around You can use these pockets to tuck your pictures in from Halloween. That's what I know my grandkids when they get older will use them for. All the years of Halloween and their outfits, they can put their pictures in there. Or any invitations they got for a Halloween party, they can tuck them behind this pocket. If you went to a movie, you can put your movie ticket behind the pocket. Whatever you want, beautiful games. Pictures from going to a haunted house and you took pictures. Tuck them behind it. See? See how that's sticking out? I don't like that, so I'm going to cut that off. A little bit more. Can't get that one too good. There we go. Here. Here. Wrap that in. Bags are like the easiest thing to make pockets out of, I think. Really simple. Now we're going to start folding this in. And Elena is drying pretty quickly because we only used a little bit. Okay. I'm sure school glue will work if that's all you have. Just use it very moderately. <laughs> the little the lesser the better. And we're gonna check this. Make sure we don't have no points. Okay. Set this down. 
and rub it again. We got two pockets. And if you want to go even further, you can add glitter. I'm not sure yet if I want to do that. Okay, beautiful beings. I couldn't find my, my yellow glitter. So I'm going to look later. So I decided we're going to try something different. Because you know how you're looking for something and you can't find it? And then you go back later and then you find it? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I have Recollections Chunky Glitter. And I do have yellow in here. Some other, some purple in there, but cool, I didn't get no purple. We're going to use that on this one. And then I have Recollections in Iridescent Glitter Shapes. And I have some stars. So we're going to use that instead. And as you can see, they get mixed up. But. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm just going to add a little bit of Lena's here and there. And then I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, beautiful beings. As I was editing, I can see that you can see my hair bun. <laughs> it's getting in the way, but at least you can see what I'm doing. I apologize for that. <laughs> Okay, beautiful beings, now we're going to put some glue down for the chunky glitter. Now for the side of the bag. Any pieces that you have left over from your box you cut out, or tabs that you cut off your boxes, You can make tucks with these or you can make belly bands, whatever you want. And if, you, and if you're new to my channel, I like using these because they're different shapes. Okay, but you have to measure them. Okay, like here. You have to measure them on what you're going to put them on and mark them like that. And then cut them down so they fit. Then of course cut across here to get rid of that part where you cut it off the box. Okay, so it's nice and straight and smooth. Alright, let's get this out of here. Okay. Now it fits. Okay, and it'll just be a unique pocket. It looks way better after you have something on it. I'm going to stick that on here and glue that down just so I can show you. Then I want to do some belly bands. Just take one of these. And if you have any leftover pieces of scrap that are long enough for a belly band, all you got to do is line it up to wherever you're going to put it on and cut it and make sure it fits good. A belly band. Okay. So this is going to be a belly band. What else we got? We got this shape. Let's mark that. Use that too. So I'm just continuing measuring and deciding what tucks I want and what shapes I want to use for the side of the bags that we have left over. Okay, now I'm going to glue them all down and I'm going to leave enough room so I can wrap them around our little tucks. And as I go, you'll see how they turn out and they look super cute. found one more I want to show you. This one, it has the cheese it box, it has the slit, like it's not straight, it's kind of slit and you just fold it over. Take care, it's too big, but you want to come in because you got that slant, so you want to come in. 
in here. So it fits. Check it. And there we go. Okay. That indoor outdoor glass white. You don't have to use glass, that's the only white paint. I have all glass and metallic whites. And <laughs> I need to get regular white and I keep forgetting when I go to the store. I especially like using it for behind things. Right, we're just gonna cut this off because it wasn't big enough to wrap around. And plus, it'll give us a different look. Okay. I'm going to cut as close as I can. I don't think that one was close enough. I'm just going to tip this forward. Make sure you shake your paint. A lot of us forget to shake our paint up. And I'm just going to take the white and go like this around the edge of my finger. And it'll give us a different look belly band besides wrapping them all around. I thought white would be good because I didn't want to take away from the black and white or the black, the, the black, white, and, and orange. <laughs> Having problems talking beautiful things. Okay. Just a little bit is all you need just to hide corners and then you can take more and put it up here if you want. Cover the cardboard. I'm gonna keep tipping this. Just to hide the cardboard up here. You can do this. See how it's hiding the cardboard? You can't see the cardboard. And then you come over here, you can see the cardboard a little bit. Just keep doing that. I remember that one video I did last year. I was tipping this to show you, I think I was doing that. I don't know. I spilled paint. It was brown paint. And I spilled it all over everything. <laughs> and then I showed you, it was on a piece of cardboard or something that I was doing. I don't know what I was doing, but it, I used it for the squirrels because it was brown paint. So we used some stamps and we stamped up some squirrels on it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that dry and I'll be back when I'm done with all the other ones and we'll decorate some of these okay hey beautiful beings I have tulip glitter here okay dimensional fabric paint you see me if you're one of my regular subscribers you've seen me do this before all right I'm just doing a big one I'm not even gonna try to do that one on camera so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and start down here, go around the head, and then we'll go in there, and go out, and I know it looks messy, but we'll see. We'll fix it. And I'm just going to swish it around, give it texture, you can use as much as you want. As much as you want, whatever you want. Okay, beautiful beings. Then I'm gonna take this and move the toothpick in there to open up that eye. And open up this eye because it's a tight spot, and that's why I'm not doing that one on camera. <laughs> okay, and I did the ghost on all of them because once I did one, I thought they're too cute. And then we're gonna move some of this over here. I just thought they were, it was too cute, so I'd share it with you, and I did all of them, okay? Okay, beautiful beings, I found some Sunflower Recollections glitter, okay? I'm going to take some Elena's glue. Zigzag. Here and there. Glue. Just like that. That looks uneven. Maybe I should go up to a little bit. 
There we go. Stretch it out a little bit. There, that looks good. Then I'm gonna put the glitter on. Easy peasy, Miss Louise. Then I'll let this sit. And all these the pockets of the house are basically done. Now we're going to decorate some of the belly bands and tucks we did. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. The scraps I had left over from our tucks and our belly bands, I made circles. I just put, let's see. Put this on the on a piece of cardboard and I traced it and then I wrapped a piece of scrap around it and then I just continued that. I have a big one but I did put this on a piece of cardboard, do a circle, but I put paint around it because there wasn't enough to wrap around. And then I think what else did I use? I don't know. I used something else too. I don't know where it is. <laughs> So anything that has a circle, I might have just used paint, but here's the one I did with the bigger one to make it bigger circle. This is the biggest circle wall. So you got large, medium, and small. And I think I put the paint on here. Yeah. I think I put the paint bottle on there on cardboard, and then I just wrapped it around the cardboard. And this one is still wet. There wasn't enough left over, so... I just cut around the sides. I stuck it down, cut around the sides, and voila. Okay, but I have some rub-ons here. But these will make cute embellishments. So I decided I'm going to use the snake. These are from Dollar Tree. Okay, rub-on transfers. Okay, and these are the stickers you get. I don't know if you get the glad or not because I'm sitting down. <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna do a spider and a snake. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna peel this off. Alright, and then take it. Put the snake down. Make sure it fits. Then I'm just going to take this pen and rub it. Okay, so it's using the end of the pen. Like that. Let's see if that worked. It did. And we got a snake. You can go this way, that way, any way you want, beautiful things. Okay. There's a snake. Now we're going to do a spider. The spider will fit on here. It still works. And there we go. There's a spider. Oh, I got to keep raising myself up. Doing chair sit-ups for you. <laughs> okay. So there's those two. I'll give you a close-up. Okay, now we're going to do a couple more. Let's do one of these. I got these stickers. Here, let's put a pocket here. Is that open the glare? Right there. I got these stickers from Dollar Tree. They're from Crafters Square. I already took them out of the package. Okay, they're all little skeletons. They're cute. And I want to put the one that has the red so he doesn't blend in too much on there. So I'm going to peel him off. 
then I'm going to put some glue on the back of them. Okay, I just want to make sure it stays glued down. I really don't want his cape where the blacks are, so I'm going to turn it. Make sure it's on there good. There's that one. Nice and glued down. Give you a close up of that. And he's cute, cute, cute. A little skeleton Dracula. Okay, now I have these stickers right here. They're from Dollar Tree. Okay. Halloween stickers. And I want this guy right here, but he's not going to fit very good, so we're going to have to cut a little bit of him off. And he's a big sticker. Okay, see, he doesn't really fit. So all I'm going to do. Did I just rip that? I just ripped that beautiful beans. <laughs> Alright, so let's set this aside. Right there. Going off the envelope, I'm just gonna cut along this. And hopefully fix the envelopes that way <laughs> we got one shot at this I'm gonna put them right in the middle all the way down and it's good all right. I'm not gonna push it down right now because the glue will seep out but we gotta try to save this bat wing so I'm gonna put a little glue on this in there so you push it down whoa it's getting out of control I'm trying to hold this up for you and here let me wipe the glue off my fingers and I'll stand up so you can see and we're gonna line it up right there I think that's good We fixed the envelope's bat wing. Kind of looks like it's a big pumpkin headlight. <laughs> could be. <laughs> it could be beautiful beings. Okay, next. I think I want this one for up tuck, the top tuck. And I was thinking. What was I thinking? I don't know. I like that. I'm gonna take this one out. Again, it's from Dollar Tree. Stickers. Okay. And I was thinking about this one. Because that's the only one that's gonna, I mean, now fit. Maybe I'll just put that one down. Let's just put this one down. I think it'll fit. No, it won't fit. It won't fit, so we're going with this one. We'll just put it right in the middle. And I'll try not to rip this one this time. Okay, I'm going to glue it up. All right, I'm going to stick that in the middle. And hopefully that's... Whoop. And that's the middle. I didn't even notice that skull wasn't cut good. Beautiful beings, I would have cut it. I'll just wait till it dries. It's not. Whoa! <laughs> I have the clumsies. It's not cut very good right here, but I'll just cut that later when it dries. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Happy Halloween. And I should have looked up that language. I don't even know. Lorem is my dollar sit. I don't even want to say it in case it's a spell. 
I don't know what kind of language that is. But I don't want to say it. <laughs> and no, I'm not superstitious. Language is a powerful thing, beautiful beings. Alright, and then our last one on this little tuck. And I want to do this in the mouse. And again, I forgot to take it off. There we go. And these are Dollar Tree stickers. I'm sure you've seen them. Especially if you go into Dollar Tree a lot. Okay. So I'm going to cut them out. This is going down first because it's the center of the attraction. We make this one an up. The top tuck too. Sit there like that. And did I fail to mention that these are rub ons? <laughs> these are rub ons, beautiful beings. It's not rubbing off very good. Let me get something else. This little poker from Dollar Tree works well on them. There we go. Here, let me show you. I'll zoom in so you can see. I'll try to keep my hands out of the way. You see how it's turning color now? Because it's going down. So it's letting me know it's going. Can you see? Beautiful, be beautiful, beautiful beings. <laughs> I don't know what is up with me. I've been doing so much stuff, trying to get ready for everything, I'm doing stuff that needs taken care of, and keep up with stuff around here. I'm just gonna put some right here. And that was my sink because it was been raining. So if you're not used to that noise, it's my sink. It, it burps when my <laughs> when my pump starts going off in the basement, it burps. Hey okay, beautiful things. <laughs> Every time my pump is done or starts one or the other. I know. Weird, huh? We're gonna put this. on the white right here or something so it shows up on the orange and white should we stem I hope my hair is not in the way Let's see. there we go and then we have a couple more bubbles here's the mouse I should have got the other one. Oh, I want the other, I want the mouse face in it, not, well, we'll just have it going that way. It's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. That dry glue all over my nails. Get this peeled off. Oh, that was easy. And we're gonna put him on the orange. So he shows up. I'm sitting over there. There's that one. I'm gonna be really close up. Little mouse. Don't worry. It doesn't really have a face. But it's cute. So here's the pockets we just made. Okay. And then we have this little tab too. I only made one because I only had a piece of scrap that was big enough. And this is off a butter flap. <laughs> okay. That's all it is. It's a flap off of butter four pack. Okay? And then I showed you the other ones. These ones. The circle ones that really aren't circles, but they're good enough. They're just wrapped around. 
right, here's Earl. the boys are basically the same. Okay, I did the ghost with the tulip glitter. Okay, and then here on the boys, I took a gel pen and I just went all the way around. Okay, see the scribble mark? That's all I did. Okay. So, where's the boys? I think these are the boys. Are those girls. These are the girls. So the boys, we got one, two, three, four, five. Because I got five boy grandkids. <laughs> okay. There's one. I thought I put tulip litter around. I might not have. I don't know. See this one? I did and it turned out orange maybe I did orange I don't remember doing orange I just remember doing yellow but that looks kind of orange too I don't know okay so we got five boy ones then I'm going to show you the girl ones because they're kind of different they're all the same with a ghost on the bottom okay I did all the ghosts on every single pocket for the grandkids and then I put glitter on this one. No, I didn't. I put tulip. I put tul tulip glitter around here and then put some more of the stars in. And this one is just stars. Okay, big ones and small ones on both. Okay. And then these two. And I got eight granddaughters, so I have eight of these for the girls. So all together, I have 12 beautiful grandchildren, beautiful beings. And then this one, I did stars and chunky glitter. Okay. And this one. And these two are with glitter. Okay. One I did around with tulip glitter around. And then this one I didn't. I just left it plain. And then I did the swervy lines on the moon. Okay, beautiful beings. And then we have all these on the side. We have all these that we can make other belly bands or tucks with, okay? So we got a lot of pockets and tucks and even little embellishments. This is a lot, beautiful beings. And we didn't even use all the bags. But we got all that out of the bags that we did use. Okay, beautiful beans. So we got a lot. <laughs> got a bunch of pockets and tucks and belly bands and a couple embellishments. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.